Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Division 101 and today's tutorial is about Word document. How to make text design in our Word document. So sometimes we want to create a nice word text design but the problem is we don't know how to use the Photoshop or other software but good things that here in our word document we can also uh, manipulate create best text design using only our Microsoft Word so if you are not yet a subscriber to my channel don't forget to subscribe we have our five second challenge to subscribe our channel so click subscribe debit june 101 and please click the notification bell so that you will be notified for our new videos new tutorial like this in our channel okay so let's move on to our uh, tutorial how to create text design in our word document so we need to open our file i am using 2016 uh, word microsoft word click we will be using the blank document so we are here we have our blank document and we will start to create a simple text design using a word word document so to start with a new file we will go to insert and then insert click shape and we will click the text box why we need to cl uh, click the text box so that after our design we can move our text or our text design in any place that we want in our word document okay so first for example i will write design okay so after i i write design i can adjust go to home and then we will choose a font okay so i have i have downloaded a font so you can download also a font uh, the link for this phone I will be uh, posting this is a demo version but this is available for free in the dafont.com so click so I have now the design to increase the size randomly click letter A to increase the size that you want in our text so if you can see I have now the text and we can move our text like a picture in our document that's good things good thing when you uh, click insert and insert text box so here after we click this is now the magic begins click format and then here this is the our shape we need to click no fill I mean to say this is no fill now and also no outline for our shape but for the text we will change now the colors of our shapes so first we will click fill color click gradient and choose more gradient so when you click more gradient here on this side you can see now your text and you have your uh, gradient so fill text fill that's text fill remember you have two two option when you click uh, this one one is you are filling the shapes the shape is the enclosure of our square and that text which is our text this one so be sure that you are in the text option not in the shapes shape options so click uh, text fill we will be using gradient gradient meaning to say the color is not a solid color but is in the gradient it's a mixing of different colors now start here 
click and then choose a color maybe yellow okay and then second color may maybe uh, red and the last color will be click and black now this one all you need to do is to drag uh, drag down to delete that one so you can see now the blending of our color we have our black red and yellow color okay if you want more yellow do like that okay so that's it we have our color now in our layout next when you go down here when you go down here you can also see our outline meaning to say the line outside our text not outside our shapes because we are in the text option so click outline and we will fill outline with a solid color so what are the colors that we need to uh, put in our outline so it should be in similar color maybe we will check the red color what happened it, that is red I think it's okay now it's red color and then adjust the the size of our adjust the size uh, size of our outline probably around three but it depends upon you depending on your text also so we have our uh, text now okay and we have our uh, outline okay so we have our text and our out outline now we need to have also the shadow of our text so shadow text effects in the text effect we have the shadow so for now I will be te teaching you about the shadow okay so shadow you have the preset here okay you have different shadow okay offset diagonal bottom right or offset bottom so it's up to you okay usually we use the offset diagonal bottom right click and then I will be choosing color black for the shadow black and then the transparency if you hide the transparency 100% you cannot see now your shadow but let let us make it zero so you can see the shadow now is uh, in our text and then also if you increase the size what happened is will look like that okay the size will look like that so it should be usually is 100% and then blurry when you go up the blurry you can see but if we will make the blurry become zero the shadow become a solid color so if you increase the size it will become blurry so it's up to you what shadow or what blurry for the shadow you want to use for this tutorial purposes we will use zero for the blur and then the distance you can adjust also the distance you can see if you increase the distance the shadow will also increase and then the angle if you want to change the angle also you can change your angle based on your preference that's it so you have now our shadow if you look at uh, we have now nice text okay for the design but okay we can you can see that we have the yellow color up here and the black down here and the red at the center it's like a, a flame in our text so that's it so close this one so if you can see our text now you can see we have our text like that now if you want to add more text and similar design to this all you need to do is to click and then copy and then paste so you have now two text design okay you can see you can move the text whenever you want example I will I will change this one to text okay and then we will change the font looking at the font okay you can choose any font but for tutorial purposes I will be using the progress personal click so I have here now the text like that and then increase the size of our text move to fit in 
So I have now the text. You can see our text now. Why it's red? Because our outline is red. Now we will change this outline. If you want to change that one to yellow, you can. All you need to do is to right click, and then format shape, and then let's uh, we'll go back to the gradient. Gradient down here we have our outline. If we want to change that one to yellow, what happens is our outline will be yellow. You can see? If we change that one to white, our outline will become to white. That's it. So maybe probably it's white is better, right? So click close. So we have our text now. Then we will set this one like that. After we set this one, okay. Then we will make this one send to back, backward or send to back. So our design text is here, the front. Okay, and then we will make it smaller, randomly. Okay, and we will put that one down here. Okay, so if you can see, you have now your text design for your layout. If you want to have the yellow, the yellow uh, outline. Okay, let's let's try yellow outline. What happened to have, have a yellow outline? Format shapes, and then go to our text option, and then outline. We will change the outline to white. Let's see what happened. That's white. No, it's not good. Yellow. Okay. Think red is better. Okay. Think that one is better. So close first. So you have here now the design of your text. You can see you have the text and you have your design text using your Word document. Now, if you want to add pictures, uh, design layout at the back, you can. So for example, I will grab some, I will grab some pictures from the, from the Google. I, maybe I will write wallpaper. Choose any wallpaper that we want to choose. Okay, randomly I will choose wallpaper. Sample this one. Right click. Okay, this is this is only for uh, copy. This is only for uh, purpose of uh, our tutorial. And then paste. We will check if we can do it. Okay. Now, when you when you have your uh, copy picture from the Google Chrome, all you need to do is to uh, size, position, and then we will format our picture first. Okay. Because we cannot move this one. Okay. Position. Format picture, and we need to text wrap this one, and we will make it behind text. Okay, text behind text. Open. Okay, so it, it, can we move now our text? Why we cannot move? Again, position text wrap uh, behind text. Okay. Send it to back. Sorry, uh, I I paste that one in the the text that we we use. So maybe we will paste it here. Okay, I will move it down so that we can paste the picture here at the top. Paste the picture. Okay, and then after that, wrap text. We will set behind the text. Why behind the text? So that we can move the picture freely. So adjust. This is probably our background. Adjust. Okay, and then after we adjust, we can move now our text up. And we can move our text like that. Okay, so 
this is not part of our tutorial, the, the background, but I, I want to show you that it is possible to lay out a text design in our Word document. So that's it. This is our Word document now, text design. So we can manipulate any text, any, any layout of the text design using a Word document. Hopefully you learned something, this simple video tutorial this day. And if you like this video, don't forget to click like and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe our channel, DB June 101. And thank you for watching. Have a nice day, everyone.